Thank you for coming. It's a very important assignment. I called my most important panther. Would you like an important beverage? I won't lie to you, Panther. This mission could involve danger. Dangerous danger? Quite possibly. There's no glory in this mission, Panther. The work will require work. The hours will each be at least an hour long. The nights will be dark. I am not afraid of the dark, Inspector. I thought you knew that. You'll be dealing with some of the most influential individuals in politics and world affairs. None of them over 11. What was that last part? They are young. They are young. They are children, but not just any children. Some are the sons and daughters of diplomats and prime ministers. Others are political activists, environmentalists, humanitarians, or simply very, very cute. But they all share one thing in common. Yeah? What's that? They are smart. Very, very smart. You don't say. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. What a unique perspective. These children are at high risk for acts of terrorism. Your mission is to watch over them, protect them, see them home safely. Babysit. Baby nothing! This is as much about foreign relations as it is about summer camp. Summer camp? You are sending me to a summer camp? Not just any summer camp, you oblivious gal girl. Camp Chilliwawa! Chilliwawa? Wawa! Wawa! Don't get so upset, Inspector. If anything goes wrong, if the children are the least bit unhappy... Their influential parents will go nutso. Their countries will be outraged. World peace down the drain. Oh, it could fuel the next world war, for crying out loud. There's not a moment to waste. The children are alive in Chilliwawa today. They have each been given a private jet for transport. Well, point me to my jet and I'm out of here. Small problem. We are run out of jets. No biggie. I'm a pretty resourceful cat. Just tell me where the place is. I'll find my own way there. I'm afraid the location is top secret. No one is to know where Chilliwawa lies. Not even you. I see. So how would you propose I get there? I'll have to magically zap you. Magically zap me? Oh, no way. I hate that. Look, last time it took me like three days to recuperate. My fur was all dried out. I had cotton mouth. I can't stand being magically zapped. I won't do it. I can't. I just need to make sure there's enough distance between us. You owe me for this. You owe me big time. We, we, we. Spectacular summer camp ever! I think I'm gonna throw up. Hey! I get motion sickness. I like my feet planted firmly on the ground, thank you very much. If God intended for me to fly, he would have given me wings. But... I mean big metal wings, like an airplane! Panther, welcome to Camp Chilliwawa, home to the first annual kids conference. Children from all over the world will meet here to discuss how to promote world peace. Yes, I heard. It's a wonderful program. Have you met any of our multicultural, ethnically diverse, but all equally gifted campers? Not yet. Well, please do. Feel free to look around. We're glad to have you aboard. I'm not 
not in the mood for a swim. Smarty, let me try to get you out. You're stuck. Don't panic. I'll figure something out. Saucy wrench. get you out. Thank goodness. It's been too long, my friend. Too, too long. I had no idea you would be here. Of course. I had to turn this place into a little person's wonderland. Wait till you see my outrageous inventions. The super suck is just one. Would you mind depositing these items back where they belong? And presto, crisp winter morning. It's not even cold. Isn't it wonderful? Let me try. It's sensational. Terrific. Oh, by the way, this is the code that will help you get into the supply shed. What was that you just whispered? I said Chili Wawa success has come to my head. It's a great success indeed. Don't open the champagne just yet. I'm from the Better Camping Bureau. The BCB, run! <laughs> My staff and I are here to evaluate your program. Make sure the children are well supervised and happy. See that all your equipment meets all rigid safety standards. I wish I had equipped the lawn with an eject button for unwanted visitors. We said we want to inspect some of your high-tech gadgetry. Now, where is this stuff? Have you seen the airboards? What's an airboard? Like a skateboard that flies. Maximum weight capacity. Thing seems to work nicely. Here are some pogo shoes. Pogo shoes? 
Pogo shoes, yeah. I see. Pogo shoes. How nice. Mind if my men take a look at those? Make sure you set the dial to a beginner. Beginner? Forget it, men. Crank them up. Show me what you got. If you say so. Those look fine, but I'm warning you, one slip up and I'll shut this place down before you can say, Where's Louie? Where's Louie? Well, we'll consider ourselves warned. Don't get smart, Panther. I can't stand a smart Panther. You, you prefer a dumb Panther, boss? Shut it. Please, boss, I, I didn't do nothing. Say, what's in that shed? Oh, supplies, but it's locked right now, and I haven't found the code to open it. No code to open it. <laughs> well, you're off to a crummy start. <laughs> I guess we better go find Louie, but we'll be back. <laughs> that guy's gonna be trouble. That was smart thinking, Pink. I'm going in my cabin to read up on the Better Camping Bureau policies. If you need me, just knock. Good thinking. I myself will take this time to do a deep cleansing kiwi citrus mask. My skin is horrific. I'll be in my cabin too if you need me, Pink. Okay, fellas. But don't worry. I'll be fine. Red. <laughs> My name is Kamokin. I am a native Australian. Though I am only ten, in my village, I am considered a doctor of herbal medicine. I know all about nature. My totem is a crocodile. Ooh, let me guess. Chili Wawa, what's your name? That's Young Lee, a very gifted student from Beijing. Of course, no more or less gifted than any other gifted students. You understand. Excuse me. My name is Indrani, and I'm an independent Indian woman, okay? I believe women should be treated as equals, and I will fight so that my daughters can live with respect. I am a Hindu, and I love Hindu mythology. My name, Indrani, means goddess of the sky. Do you know where Bhutan is? That's where I am from. I'm a Buddhist, and I spent time as a monk in a monastery. I have pen pals from all over the world, and now I will have some more. You can feel it working! Did you meet all the children, Pink? Even little Nigel? He's a bit shy. You'll have to find some way to get him to warm up to you. some fishing. Oh, hello. 
Hello. What's your name? My name is Nigel. I'm from England. I'm a pacifist. P-A-C-I-F-I-S-T. I am very T-I-D-Y. And most everything with love and R-E-S-P-E-C-T. This is my first time at camp. No roughhousing, please. You like fishing? Does it kill the fish? We won't kill them. We'll throw them back. But it must hurt a little when you snag them on the hook. I suppose it hurts a little, but just a drop. Like a teeny tiny eeny weeny little pinch. Ow, ow, ow! That hurts! What did I ever do to you? Eeny weeny, eh? I'm sorry. How would you like it if I hooked one of them things around the roof of your mouth, buddy? I'll never fish again. Then mend your ways, warmonger. Deliver your stick of doom into my hands, and I will see that no one is ever hurt by its E-V-I-L again. Stick of doom? A fishing rod. Oh, of course. Interesting. Though that's not how we do it in my country. Yeah, I'd like to visit your country someday. I insist you stay with my family when you do. campers bedtime don't forget our introduction to foreign culture seminar first thing in the morning good night come on again see you in the morning nigel pleasant dreams ananda sleep tight chione <laughs> stop giggling young wee nighty night pink panther don't let the bed box bite mine kinda good night john boy Pink, come quick! Nigel is in a terrible state! Upset. Be quiet! I hate you! I hate this place! It's a rotten dump! Oh, you couldn't possibly be. Be quiet! I want to go home to England! England rules! I can't stand it here! It's a rotten dump! A dump! You hear me? R-O-T-T! Close enough. Your next word is hyperbole. Hyperbole! A is wrong with him. Well, his spelling seems a little skittish for one. But pink! I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. That's right. We must do something. You better camping bureau will shut us down. He wants to go home. If you can't bring Mohammed to the mountain. Can't we worry about Mohammed after we've taken care of Nigel? I'll hot foot it over to England and snatch up a few of his favorite things from home. Nigel will be happy as a clam. I hate it here. I want to go home. I'll be in my cabin. See me before you leave. I want to give you a little something for your trip. You. 
Ink Panzer, I've made you a special travel device. Travel device? Not just any device, your very own PDA. Your PDA is small, your PDA is pink, it's your pink digital assistant. Come again? It allows us to communicate and teaches you about the places you'll be traveling to on your trip to exciting London, England. How much would you pay for a digital assistant like this? I've never had a digital assistant. $200? $300? Today it's yours free! Free! With your PDA, you will know things you didn't even know you knew. Your PDA can tell you about any country you visit. You can manipulate the PDA with a control panel along the bottom and the arrows around the wheel. It's easy to navigate through the PDA. Click on the arrows to select the country you want information about. Click on the arrows to select the topic you want information about. Click on the go arrow and faster than you can say, I'll have that fat free vinaigrette. You'll arrive at the domain page hosted by a colorful character. Fact pages supplies the real learning power of the PDA. The kind of stuff most folks just won't know. Now, anytime you right click an object, you hear a little tidbit of information about it. But when you see a PDA icon flash at the bottom left hand corner of the page, you can click on it to go directly to a fact page. So much information, sheesh! I hope you have room in your head. I tell you, it's the hottest thing since sliced bread pink, no lie! Ronnie, is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Come a little closer. <laughs> I guess I feel better now, sucker. She's changed. You're not planning on walking to England, are you? your seat and fasten your seat belt. The aircraft will be moving shortly. We're next on the runway to take off. If you'll make sure your seat belts are fastened, we'll be on our way promptly. Sir Boldly is Parliament's oldest member. Today he is retiring. I'm afraid he's in the midst of delivering a rather long-winded farewell speech. I do wish he'd cut it short. And furthermore, it has been brought to my attention that... Unless you've got a way to divert him, you'd better just wait.
You gonna buy something or not? Seen our ball, Panther? Furthermore, it has been brought to my attention that... Unless you've got a way to divert him, you'd better just wait. Is this the ball you're looking for? Yeah, that's it. I need me lucky ball. I'm the team hooker. The beg pardon? Team what say? He's the team hooker. I'm the captain. We're training for the World Cup. I see. It's just you said. And I thought... Forget it. Betcha anything we'd have lost if I didn't get me lucky ball back. Let me do something to repay you. Wow. Right, well, I'm a bit parky. Let's go. is the sun. Is that Ryan Boar's jersey? I guess it is. I don't bloody believe it. Ryan Boar, me lad idolizes a bloke. Uh, can I trade you for a copy of the sun? Right, you can, mate. Here, take a little something extra too. Ryan Boar's jersey, fancy that. Uh, game of darts? When I fly with strangers, my might be. I'm no stranger. No stranger than you are. Oh, uh, we got a bloody comedian on our hands here. That tall pink comedian with a tail. Look here. You don't know my name, and I don't know your name. You don't know his name, and he don't know yours. However, he knows my name, and I bloody well know his. And that, my friend, makes you the stranger. Ha <laughs> ha! Afternoon, love. Quite the best. Nah, I'm a cartoon character. I don't drink. Bobby, pick up. Like my drink? Brilliant. I'm off duty, you know. Pint and a plowman's for the postman. Pick up. I eat this lunch every blooming day, but you think they'd call it the postman's lunch? No. Steak and a kidney pie and a pink gin for our barrister friend. Pick it up. So, ho, you're the barrister, eh? Working on a case? How's it coming? If I were working on a case, and I'm not saying I am, I certainly wouldn't be at liberty to discuss how near victory I am or am not. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why you're looking at me. I'm just a, a plain old uh, British, uh, British person uh, sitting in a British pub in Britain. Uh, that's me. Uh, right, mate. My geezer and me hang out down the boozer, man. I mean, mate. I mean, mate, man. Don't you have any football over here? Of course we do. Excuse me? That's not football. It's a ball game played with your foots. Football. That game is not called football. Right then, what is it? Soccer, soccer. Oh, brother. Bangers and mash? What you got there? Bangers and mash. Bangers and mash? 
That's what we call sausage and mashed potatoes. Oh, I see. We've got bangers and mash, Missy. I ordered mine before that little perisher did his. Say, would you mind terribly if I uh, borrowed one of those bangers there? What's in it for me? That's my boy. How about trading one of your sausages for a comic book? Okay. I'm practicing. You're rather in my way. She's never looked better since she left him. He's never looked worse. Listening in, are you? It's not polite to eavesdrop. It's not polite to gossip either. We're not gossiping. We're updating each other on current events. Yeah, and if you haven't got any current events, you better scram. Rumor has it that the Queen was seen out celebrating her birthday in a disco, wearing a rhinestone bustier and doing the electric slide. Pull up a chair, Panther. Things are just getting good. Word is, a woman that we all know very well has fallen in love with a member of Parliament. Don't believe it! Love at your age! Who is the lucky MP? Sir Baldly, I've confessed my love in a letter, and I want you all to hear it. <clears throat> my dearest Baldly, I love you as I have loved no other hairless man in my life. What's this? An urgent note for Sir Baldly? Give it here, lad. Loves me? She, she loves me? I'm enclosing a see you later alligator and such and so forth, blah, blah, blah. She loves me? She loves me? Having a bad day? My best friend Nigel's away this summer. I haven't got a thing to do. I'm frighteningly bored. So where is this, Nigel? Some special Kemp chili something or other. Who cares? It's a silly place anyways. Well, I'm sure it's not so bad. It's a rotten dump, trust me. Me and Nigel hate it. And we hate school, too. Nigel does not hate school. I know that for her. Trust me, we hate everything. Okay, so your buddy Nigel is stuck in a rotten dump. What do you think we could do to cheer him up? Hmm, let's see... Sorry I'm late. Had a little matter to tend to in the loo. Bubble and squeak gets you every time. Come on then, Rupert. Wait, what about Nigel? See his butler. His name's Jackson at the Mucky Duck. <laughs> So, Jackson is his name. Guess I better go visit the Mucky Duck again. Aren't you Jackson? Indeed I am, sir. My full name is Michael Cuthbert Jackson. But please, don't ask me to do Billy Jean. I wouldn't. I am partial to beat it myself. Who's next? I am. You play dance. You who watch and see if I don't. Not bad, 
Oh, boy. However, if you just... Thanks, Jackson. Does Nigel like darts, too? Nigel? How do you name Nigel? I'm a friend of his from Camp Chilliwawa. Is something wrong with Master Nigel? He hasn't been hurt, has he? No, nothing like that. I just thought I'd bring him a little something from England. He's a bit homesick. Homesick? Can you think of anything he might want? Well, he's a guy, I suppose. His guy? He's Guy Fawkes' toy. It was the 5th of November, 1605. Man, King James was mighty lucky just to be alive. The Roman Catholics were displeased with his dealings. I guess you could say they had more than had feelings. Gunpowder was mounted in Parliament's cellar. Thirty barrels were enough to really damage a fella. They planned to blow up James at Parliament too. I guess they couldn't think of nothing better to do. Oh, Rabbi, Guy Fawkes was in charge of the explosion. But before the Big Bang came, one more old chap warned a friend to be aware. And before Fawkes knew it, he'd caught wind of the scare. And your point is... Remember, remember the 5th of November. On that day, children burn a likeness of gay forks. And you're telling me this because... Nigel's Guy Fawkes. He never can bring himself to properly burn it. It's a bit singed round the edges, maybe, but that's it. Actually, he's rather fond of it. I think he keeps it hidden because he's embarrassed. That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. I'll deliver his guy to him safely. Where does he keep it? I told you. I think he keeps it hidden because of this embarrassment thing. Hidden? Hidden! You must have some idea of where I could look. His family's country seat, I suppose. You could search there. Will you take me? For Master Nigel, I do anything. Duty now, Pink. As Ed Butler, we mustn't seem too familiar. What do you... Oh, Jackson! Excuse me? Hello, Penfold. What's your rush? Talk to me or I won't hush. Didn't you just feel a drizzle? I hope it don't mess up me whistle. I'm on me way to meet me mates. I guess I better move me plates. I'm so chipper today, I feel like it's slow. I'm sure you can tell by the grin on my boat. What on earth are you talking about? My gibberish has a well-planned code. To crack it, you must change your mode. I'm sure you're smart. Why, well, you're no oaf. Yes, you're the sort to use your loaf. Now answer, Panther. Don't stand mute. Are you looking for a whistle and flute? Whistle and what? Crack my rhymes and sing my song. Then I'll quickly move along. If you're undressed, you've no whistle and flute. That'd mean you be in your birthday. <laughs> Well done! So whistle and flute mean suit as you sing. What word do I mean when I say loaf of bread? <laughs> to run a race or cross a street, I'd need to use my plates of meat. What do I mean by plates of meat? I have two of them. They are my... <laughs> You're catching right on! Answer my last question and I'll move along. A grimace, a frown, a look of distaste. These expressions all rest on a person's boat race. What do I mean by boat race? (laughs) 
try a different word instead. The answer's in your loaf of bread. Congratulations, kind lad. You did it quite well. It didn't take long and you proved you can spell. Now repeat plain to me what I rhymed to you. To prove you've the hang, then I promise we're through. Didn't you just feel a drizzle? I hope it don't mess up me whistle. I'm on my way to meet me mates. I guess I better move me plates. I'm so chipper today, I feel I can float. I'm sure you can tell by the grin on my boat. You hope the rain won't mess your suit. That's what you mean by whistle. You'll need your feet to meet your mates. That's what you mean when you say plates. You've a grin on your boat, and on mine I've distaste. When you say boat, you mean one's face. You've done me proud. I could almost cry. So long. Farewell. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. This is not where the chambermaid would enter. As chambermaid, you're expected to make the beds, draw the curtains, fill the hot water bottles, lay the fire, and turn down the bedspread in the evening. Surely good fun indeed. As cook, you are second only to me. Your duties include preparing all meals and, when we are short-staffed, serving and cleaning up. Footmen stand by the door to greet visitors and carry parcels. Enjoy. Don't be surprised if we call you in to help serve or clean up. It's all part of the glory. for Nigel's father. Lord Pinkington for Sir Manley. Right this way, please. My goodness. Manly, is that you? I'm sorry. How long has it been, Manly? I was just riding past your lovely house, and I thought I'd say, hello. Very good of you to pop in. Uh... Pinkford. Pinkford? Pinkford Pinkington, but you can just call me... Pink? You remembered. Do you want me for a dish of tea, Pink? Why, I couldn't decline if I said no. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. I've brought your tea. Would you like a spot? A spot and a half. I'm quite thirsty. One lump or two, Lord Pinkington. Uh, no lump is fine. No lump? A piece of lemon, then. Or some milk. I take my tea just plain brown, thanks. Brown? Your tea is brown, isn't it? It's an Earl Grey today, your lordship. I suppose Grey will do. Pour it up, good man. <clears throat> the afternoon post, sir. Leave it on my desk, Jackson. That will be all. We were at the meet this morning, Pinkford. What some people call recreation. Sheesh. I could find a better way to spend my afternoon than chasing one of them around. 
Uh, no, I'm a vegetarian. Yes. Well, I have to get back. It's still going on. Slippery little bugger. Will you dine with us tonight? I'd be delighted. Brilliant. Loosen your belt, old friend. I think if I heard cook right, we're having roast beef and Yorkshire. Splendid. Consider my belt loosened. I really must go. The family crest. Very regal indeed. Each quarter so intricate and telling. Nigel rather fancied the upper left quarter with that merry little unicorn. Before it was framed, it sat draped on the chair. Nigel used to stroke the unicorn for hours. Uh, you can see it's a bit threadbare. One of the most beautiful sights indeed. Midsummer. The sun rises directly over the eel stone at Stonehenge. It's quite beautiful to watch. What's up, Bishop? Sir Manley's great great grandmother. Actually, hanging a bit crooked. But then, so was she. Junk mail? I may already be a millionaire. What's this? Dear Mummy and Fafa, I hate camp. I am miserable and I want to come home. Please come and get me your sad son, Nigel. Crest marks the spot. Poker. Pretty sneaky, Nigel. Mr. Guy Fox, I presume. Wouldn't want any bad luck. Guess I better pick up that mirror. Smarty, uh, can I help you with any problems? Uh, can I fix anything? Uh, 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 good one, good one. Uh, 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 not now, me. Okay, your turn. My 
My dumb outfit is pink. My dumb hair is pink. I stand around all day and act dumb. Who am I? Uh, Flo from Mel's Diner. about their appearances. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. I'm not trying to redecorate Stonehenge. I'm trying to recapture my pantherhood. Chioni means daughter of the Nile. Check along the river for her. Along the river? The Nile is 4,163 miles long. Yeah, so you better get started. I'll send her jet. Hold on a sec while I upgrade the PDA's database to include Egyptian history and travel information. Okay, you're cool. Welcome to Egypt. See the view of the pyramids. One of the seven wonders of the world, you know. I need to find the mouth of the Nile. Lucy will tell you that's me. Get your camels here. The only way to get away is sand too hot to walk, my friends. Try a four-legged companion. I'm crazy. I'm the mouth of the Nile and I will make a nice deal for you. Today only. That's very funny. I'm looking for a girl. Aren't we all, my friend? Aren't we all? Bring her a souvenir. She will never forget you. How about this one? <coughs> my panther went to Egypt and all he brought me was this crummy t-shirt. Yikes! What's that? Probably a sand mummy. A sand mummy? Don't you know anything about mummification? Now, the ancient Egyptians had a way to preserve a body for the afterlife. Embalming a body was the way to begin, and for that you need a ritual nerve. Woo! 
King Tut. In 1922, an excavation went through. A friend named Howard Carter found his underground hut. The mummies are mummified with a procedure called embalming. That's what the ancient Egyptians did. But there are other kinds of naturally preserved mummies, like sand mummies. So if you just drop a body in the sand, it mummifies naturally? Yep. Yeesh. Technically, any dead body that still has skin on it is a mummy. Where did you learn so much about this? From my mummy. Thanks for the lesson, Mouth. I guess I better get out of here before I mummify. Could I borrow one of your camels? I need to get to the banks of the Nile. Not for nothing you can't. The camel ride will cost you. I'm a businessman. I live to sell. I sell to live. I have a three-legged pony to provide for. And I haven't even had lunch today. I'm crazy. Well, fine. I'll just find my own way there. Who loves the tourist, baby? Mouth does. Make a nice deal today only. The heat must have got me. Stop me, Lucy. I'm crazy. But if I run into kebab, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Funny, funny. Try kebab, lamb or beef, tahini or no. I don't have any money. But you have a lovely pink smile, and my heart cannot say no. Say, why don't we barter? You get me, say, a rug, and I'll give you the grub. I'll see what I can do. know a girl named Chione? No. Ask the owner. He knows everyone. Should we send Chione a little care package? Maybe a piece of jewelry. The director of Camp Philly Chacha asked us not to send anything other than letters. We could send it in a letter. Your daughter is away at camp? Yeah, she's away. Thank goodness. She is a handful. She's two handfuls. Always boating to a farming village in Upper Egypt. No matter how many times I ask her not to bother people working, it's the sake she loves. Always begging to drive the ox. It's no way for a little girl to behave. Have you heard from her? I mean, is she enjoying herself at camp? We expect to hear from her today. I see. Well, uh, best of luck. I hope she's having fun. Assalamu alaikum. Colorful carpet, not too dusty. Does it fly? That cost extra. Well, it's not for me. It's for a friend. Ooh. The kebab vendor. Oh, Fatouche. He's been trying to get a rug to sit on for weeks. You tell Fatouche he can have that rug for that cup of coffee he was supposed to treat me to. 
This may sound like a silly question, but... Do I have a magic lamp? You just saw Aladdin, and you're looking for your very own genie, complete with a name, voice, talent. Welcome to reality. There's no Three Witches. There's no Robbie Williams. There's plain brass pots and hot sun. What can I get you? Uh, nothing. Thanks. Cynic. Do you know a girl named Shione? Strombone? Crazy one-eyed Strombone? Please, sit and have coffee with me. Tell me your story about Strombone. Crazy Strombone. It's been years. Ziada, masputa, or sada? Sorry? Sweet, medium, or bitter? Sweet, medium, or bitter what? Coffee! How do you like it? Sweet, medium, or bitter? Oh, uh, sweet. Ziada, two! Decaf, if you have. So tell me, when did you first meet Strombone? Ooh, is this a funny story. Okay, Strombone and I first met, I think it was... Actually, I haven't really met Stromboni per se. I mean, I have heard stories about Stromboni, but this is going to be our first real meeting meeting. You know what I mean? So you don't know Stromboni? No, no. Who do any of us really know? I know Stromboni. Well, I think you misunderstood me. I said I was looking for Chione. I don't know her. That's okay. Well, thanks for the coffee. Zia, delicious. Fresh coffee from Fatush? Sensational! What kind of rug would Tushi like? I have every style, every shape, every fabric, every size, everything! Everything? Absolutely everything! Okay, um, how about a pink panther skin rug? Hey, hey! What? It's synthetic! Here's your rug. I hope you like it. And now for your grub. Oh, when the rug vendor says he'll buy you a cup of coffee next. Got a kebab? Ten kebab. Uh, eight kebab. I only have one. Seven kebabs. I only have one. Six kebabs, my final offer. I only have one. Short! You drive a hard bargain panther. You're lucky I'm a hypoglycemic. Give me the grub. <laughs> Okay, that was somewhat delicious. Now get me a rug and we'll be on our way. A rug? My camel's hump has been sitting in the hot sun all day. You can't expect me to ride on it bare. Maas el salama, Pink. That means so long. Who loves the turret, baby? Mouth does make a nice deal today only. The heat must have got me. Stop me, Lucy, I'm crazy. Remember that rug I gave you? Yes, truth be told, it kind of gives me the creeps. Well, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. He wants it back, does he? Just as soon as he buys me the coffee he promised. Hello, what's your name? Cuckoo. 
Cuckoo? It means rooster. Don't ask. Well, what are you doing? I ask myself that every day. What are you doing, Cuckoo? What are you doing? Do you think for one minute I thought I would spend my life working with the Zabaline, collecting trash? I had dreams. I had aspirations. I could have been a contender for crying out loud. Are you dating anyone? I have a friend you might like. Her name is Lucy. Lucy? Lucy? Three-legged Lucy? She's the apple of my eye, the spring in my step, the hay in my barrel, the trash in my cart. I'm Coco for Lucy, you hear me? I love that horse. Did you see her? Tell her I said hi. Any chance I can bother you for another rug? Did Fatou send you? Tell him he gets one rug only. That's all. And by the way, this coffee is lukewarm. Here's your coffee. I hope you like it, Ziada. I do. You wanted food, I brought you food. You wanted a rug, I brought you a rug. Creepy. I've done everything you've asked. Now would you please help me get to the banks of the Nile? Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Just as soon as I quench my raging thirst. Oh, brother. Parched like a piece of old paper. Drier than my mother-in-law's rump roast. My throat is the desert. The desert is my throat. I am no one until my insatiable thirst is quenched. I'm about to try it now. It's lukewarm. Liquid, lovely liquid. Ah, just the way I like it. Lukewarm. It won't be long now, my friends, until we all drink from the banks of the Nile. Hurrah! seen a little girl about so high? Dark hair? Yes, I have. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> I see. Are you making a boat? Yes, I am. Out the papyrus reeds. <laughs> and now, Panther, please, some food for my Lucy. I don't have any food. I gave you what I had. You ate it. No provisions for my Lucy? After such a long journey, I'm afraid we must terminate our relationship with you. I'm sorry, don't talk to us anymore. Mouth, please. Did you hear something, Lucy? I heard nothing. I'm not listening to you. Lucy, it's our friend, the Frugal Panther. Mouth, you don't understand. No, no, you don't understand. You think Lucy's three-legged life isn't hard enough. She has low self-esteem, premature hair loss, and absentee father. Lucy, I... <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hello. I was going to take a dip, but I'll check back later. my friend. My friend Mouth is mad at me. Ah, you know Mouth? Do me a favor. When you see Mouth, give him this. What's this? The Eye of Horus. Protects you from evil spells. He's been waiting for one. I had it on back order. Now tell me, what can I do for you? I think you may have just saved a little girl's life. Thanks. to you, but this is from Fadil. The Eye of Horus. I've been waiting for this baby. Increases your sales drive. Humph! Okay, Lucy, you can wear it. Thanks for delivering that. Here's a little scarab for your troubles. Panther, please, some food for my Lucy. I guess it's back to Cairo. Oh, I was hoping I'd see you again. If you see Lucy, will you give her these... Thanks, Cuckoo. I bet she'll really like them. something that might cheer you up. Do you know a donkey named Cuckoo? Well, he's Cuckoo over you. He gave me these flowers uh, for you. Lucy, won't you help me get out to that boat? A little girl may be in danger. Okay. Let's get this crazy guy out to that fishing boat. And I'll give you one good leg, Lucy. Use it. Mind if I hitch a ride with you? Not at all. Welcome aboard my fishing felucca. We're headed further into Upper Egypt towards the farming villages. <laughs> Perfection. Bye, Mouth. Bye, Lucy.
sweet palm tree. Well, I haven't had a date in years, and I always thought I was rather attractive. <laughs> A little oven reminds me of my Betty Crocker Easy Bake. You should have tried my cuppy cakes to die for. Chione? I'm sorry, I thought you were. Want to turn the sake? Oh no, I was just looking for someone. The little buckets dump water into the ditch. We use it to irrigate the farm. Oh, so you're in charge of irritating the farm. I see, that's just swell. Say, do you know a little girl named Chione? Her parents don't like her to turn the sake. So you do know her. Has she been here? Who are you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trespass. Is this your farm? Are you a farmer? It is my farm and I am a farmer. I also happen to sit on the People's Assembly, Egypt's legislative body. I'm an Aries, I enjoy water skin and mint gum. I'm looking for a little girl named Chione. I'm looking for someone to feed my birds. But you don't see me burdening you with my problems. Get it? Burdening. Won't you help feed the birds? When you feed them, they put on quite a show. the size of a chicken. I'm a purple gallinule with loads of ambition. Thank you very much. I'm a black winged kite. I make my home chilling by the Nile. The other birds flock around me trying to bite off a piece of my style. Kingfisher. I dive into the Nile's water to catch my prey. I am an excellent provider, but the chicks still run away. Thank you kindly. Now I'll be happy to answer any questions you have about Chione. Have you seen her? No. Do you know where she might be? No. Can you think of anyone that might be able to help me? Well, no. Thanks. You've been very helpful. Really? No. Because of the hot water and all. You're going nowhere, Pink Lake. There's no escape. Perfectly good salad gone to waste. The most impressive use of a salad I've ever seen. Hmm, that's strange. We don't usually see many pigeons along the Nile. Hey, what are you doing here? I came to deliver a message. How did you get all the way to Egypt? How do you think I got here? I flew for crying out loud. 
I am a bird. Sheesh. But I thought you were afraid of... Hello? Not in front of the foreign feathers, if you don't mind. Heavens to Purdue, what in Frank's name is that thing? You are huge! I am a purple gallinule. I am a water bird. You look more like a turkey to me, honey. You are truly massive. So, what's the message you came to deliver? You know, you have no tact. Did anyone ever tell you that? Sheesh, I mean, come on. How about a little privacy already? Forgive my friend, would you mind excusing us? Not at all. Tell the bird to keep in mind. Pigeon is a delicacy in Egypt. I do not like her. I just don't. Please, what is the message about? Dear little Shioni, is she in love? I found this by the lake. She must have meant to mail it to her parents. I figured I'd do a good deed and bring it over for her. Von Schmarty told me she was so miserable at camp, she ran away. You don't say. Maybe this note has some information on her whereabouts. Well, let me see it. Not so fast, Pink Puff. I'm sure you must have picked up a little bubble along the way for me. Something so I know I'm loved. I am loved, aren't I? A scarab! You care! You really care! I love it! Oh no, it's in hieroglyphics! What are you gonna do? I'll try to find someone who can help decode this, I suppose. any sense. Von Schmarty said she was miserable. I better get back to that camp. Wait, you better take this. Thanks. Pink to Schmarty. Come in, Schmarty. Pink, I found Chione. She came back to camp. And she's happy, right? No, she's more unhappy than ever. More unhappy than ever? This doesn't make sense. I'll need jet transport back to Camp Chiliwawa immediately. This note from Chione. It says, Pink, not here. Something as sinister is a surfacing. You better hide any of your clues under the loose boards in the supply shed. Okay. 
What do you want? I have something for you from England. Somebody's favorite friend. What's this? That's your old friend, Guy Fox. Most of the kids in England burn their guy dummies, but not you. You love your... Guy Fox. Secret hiding place. So, this is where Von Schmarty said to hide stuff. <laughs> Don't chuck a wobbly, you boofhead. <laughs> I'm in the tool shed. Val, come out! I'm stuck in here. Kamokin locked me in. Oh boy, be right there! Pink, we have to find young Lee. He's very upset. What did he say? I don't know. Most children on this trip were supposed to speak several languages, but you Lee will only speak Chinese. What should we do? I signed you up for a one-day crash course in basic Chinese. Great. Where do I go? China. Here we go again. I'll be back in one day with my response. Take your seat and fasten your seatbelt. The aircraft will be moving shortly. We're next on the runway to take off. If you'll make sure your seatbelts are fastened, we'll be on our way promptly.
What a thrill to have you here! Hurry and get ready, you are on in five! Hurry, your fans are waiting! Did you meet my cousin Namchak? He is Beijing's top security guard! No one gets past the Namchak! Perfect! Your face is a masterpiece! Don't blink! You'll smart your eyes! Oh, it fits you just right! Real Kung Fu! I like this voice better than my real voice. That takes care of the unattractive small one. You should not have harmed Louie. You made a grave mistake. Louie will be very sore at you. That means if I don't get you, Louie will be very sore at me. That means I must get you. Okay, get me. Now, I am free now. But whatever is good for you. I am free now. Okay, now it is. <laughs> blinded. I am blinded, you dirty panther. I cannot see. <laughs> I do not speak your language. Have you eaten yet? <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, why no? What a great honor it is to meet you. May we invite you to our home for dinner? Please do. Oh, we just did. Wang Li, Namchak, come. Oh, we 
But later, food will get cold. Set it down. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's... Very, very bad. Taste disgusting. Is it really that bad? No, it's a Chinese custom. Too much modesty. Oh my goodness, are you out of your... This is delicious, incredible. I've never tasted... Did you taste this? It's unreal. Come here. Give me a hug. This is too good. No flavor. Yes, flavor. Very good flavor. Superb flavor. How'd I do? Too, too good. Genius, very, very smart. Sure. Uh, he is at a special camp for genius called Camp Genius Hawawa. I see. Uh, when not busy being the genius, he help his father with farming. He live with us so he can go to good school in Beijing. He's father rice farmer. Very bad English. But very good rice, I suppose. You must go to his farm. Visit his rice. Make lucky rice for him. But I don't know if I can make lucky rice, unless it has a boil-in bag. Sure! I'll try. It's uh, too far to walk. Yes! Yes! You ride it! I don't let my bird out of its cage. Now my bird is gone! God! Do you hear me? God! Sorry. Hold that door. Thanks for dinner. Goodbye. We say that. That means goodbye. Zai Zhan, everyone. Zai Zhan! Zai Zhan! God, you hear me? some leeches in there. Well, you won't find any here. I looked everywhere. 
there. It's too far for me to go to the city on foot. something that belongs to you. Give me the bird. Hmm? Hello, Frank. What do you say? Sorry for losing... Frank. Not you, Shay Shay. He said thank you. You're welcome. So long, baby! was payment enough. Thanks again. Whoops. See, now you overpaid. Are you... Same ancient method for rice farming, not modern. Hey, if it ain't broke... Fancy pink westerner seems silly to you to get down on hand and knee. Not true. My son, he's smart boy. He can live in both worlds, yours and mine. He goes to special chili camp camp to meet smart children, speak their language with them and talk about the future. How many languages does he speak? Mandarin Chinese, English and Russian dabbles in Hebrew. Really? But he's most comfortable with Chinese. No, English. He goes to English school since he was a baby. Even an English-speaking nursery, he will be an important Chinese diplomat. Strange. You are a lucky visitor. We'll make my rice very good. I hope so. Chinese opera star? I suppose I am. You do a little sing-song for my rice. Oh, I... you a question now? What does Wo Hen Yi say Shin Chair Fugini Chin Chair Hambagajen mean? Mean? I glad to pay you on Tuesday for one hamburger today. Huh. Huh? Uh, hello? Yeah, I 
was just here talking to Young Lee's father. He told me his son speaks four languages, most fluently English. Pink, Indrani wants to talk to you. Give me that thing. Oh, Pink Panther, I meant to bring Marigold to my grandfather's grave before I left. Please, he's buried in a Hindu graveyard in my hometown, Varanasi. Will you bring him flowers for me? If not, I'll do it myself. Indrani, I... Now, do it now. If I have to tell my parents that you wouldn't do me this one simple favor, you can kiss your job goodbye. Do you understand me? Goodbye! Oh, and take your time. Thank you. Well, I guess I'm on my way to Varanasi. Varanasi? India. Hijacking? Oh, tall! What's with those ridiculous costumes? They're not costumes, man! They're disguises! They're the only ones they had left, man! I guess you guys thought of everything. That's right, man! We did! There's just one thing. Yeah? If you're out here and he's out here, yeah? Then who is flying the plane? Too. Uh, listen to me, Pink Panther. D don't even think of using that parachute to jump out of that door and, and, and escape. I wouldn't dare. Uh, don't even think of waiting ten seconds to pull the cord either. So, uh, so, uh, so you don't get stuck in the plane, I mean. Don't even think of it. I'm not thinking at all. I'm completely blank. Me too. Welcome to Tempu, the capital of Bhutan. I think I'll stretch my legs. Never know when this could come in handy. This is Tempu's oldest citizen, Padma Sambhava, is an Indian mystic who introduced Buddhism here 1200 years ago. I'm on my way to India now. It was said that as a boy, Padma cleansed his face only with butter. Well, that explains his real creamy complexion. Bhutanese children rub his face with butter to show love. Oh, well, I'll do the same if I get any. Log JG. What's that mean? It means goodbye. Log JG to you, my dear. Any hexes? You say you want to buy a letter X? A hex! I'm asking, do you have a hex? Oh, a hex. That's a strange request. Cast a hex on my opponent's team for me, please! Well, I don't know. Mine's a pretty powerful hex. Then you must! I'm on my way to India. If you help me, I will reward you with a special hood. It will allow you to enter a zong. What's a zong? Please, there's no time. If the Thimpu Trekkers don't beat the Tongsai Yak Masters, we will be disgraced. They won last month. Oh, for heck's sake, I'll help you. 
But then I have got to get going. I have business to take care of in India. The hex, please! Cast a hex on my opponent's team for me, please! What? That's it? You're done? It's a very powerful spell. Anymore, and he'd have gone blind. I might need this if I want to get into a zong. Whatever that is, what's gonna happen to him? First, he'll feel a bit lightheaded. Then, he'll have a sinking feeling in his stomach. Finally, when he goes to shoot an arrow, he's gonna... Win! He's gonna win! What have you done? It takes about an hour to kick in. Oh, no! We're ruined! Let me make it up to you. I'm an excellent archer. I'll play with your team. I don't know. Honest, just give me a try. Fine, but you have to find your own equipment. Now I just need a bow. Song. Really? And what is a zong? A zong houses government officials and religious leaders. It is a place where both prayers and decisions are made, and you can't get in without a scarf. You are a very informative young lady. What's cooking? Hemagotsi, our national dish. Dried chilies cooked with cheese. So, I guess you guys don't have a TFC round here, huh? TFC? Tucky Fried Chicken. Chicken? Chicken? I'm a bit old-fashioned. I would never eat a chicken. Why not? An old folk tale warns that on Judgment Day, between death and rebirth, your soul will be judged. A chicken will place white pebbles on the scale for all the good deeds you have done. A pig will place black pebbles on the scale for all the bad you have done. And so you would never eat chicken because... Wrong enemy to make. However, I do eat pigs. I make a nasty BLT. Want one? No, thanks. So in the old days, to make sure that no harm came to them, people were known to strap live chickens on their backs. Well, I'm in a strange country, traveling without my credit card. I could use a little reassurance. Strap one on me. Chickens do not grow on trees. If you want my bird, then trade me something, please. That was terrific. I love the crossword. Here's your chicken, Panther. Gee, this is a lot more comfortable than I would have imagined. Hi. Yaggity yak, people ride on my back. Do you need anything? I need a bow and arrow. I've already got the arrow. I need an arrow. Well, I would trade you my arrow for your bow, but I need my arrow. I'm going to be in an archery tournament. I need your arrow too. I'll give you my bow for it. Then neither one of us will have a complete set. I Reluctance, take your time. Nice chicken. Here, here's my arrow. I don't know what I'm going to do with just a bow, and I don't know what you are going to do with just an arrow, but. Hey!
king! The king! Where have you been? The archery tournament must start now! The king is growing restless! But I only have a... Your turn! Go! Great! So you have a bow! Now what will you shoot from it? Pink Archer, come here for a moment. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Oh, a friend from my hood showed me. Robin? Robin from the hood? <laughs> can you show me some of his moves? Yeah, it's not something you can teach. It's more like... Dumb luck. Well, that's one way of putting it. Welcome to Bhutan. Here, please accept this go. It is traditional Bhutanese dress. Why, thank you. Can you stay with us? Visit the palace for a few days. I would love to, but I'm on my way to India. How are you traveling? Well, I had a jet. It won't be able to land here. The clouds and the mountains. Can you help me? I'm the king of Bhutan. I'd like to think so. I'll call my pilot. My friend needs transportation. Slight problem, your majesty. What is it? Someone stole the royal rotor. Stole? Well, it's missing. We can't fly without it. Where can we get a new one? It will take many days to arrive. I don't have many days. I don't have any days. I'm in a big rush. I'll go on yak back. Not on this yak's back, you won't. Sorry, boss. That's a long trip. We must find the missing Rhoda. Split up to search. Anyone who knows anything about it should report to the palace immediately. We can't go anywhere without the Rhoda. We must find the missing Rhoda. Split up to search. Anyone who knows anything about it should report to the palace immediately. Nice shot, man. Sorry to hear about the missing propeller. Uh, but as long as you're stuck in Bhutan, why not consider playing for the Thimpu Trekkers? They're all that! Hey! You'll be happy to know I played just fine in the archery tournament without my arrow. What would you like today? The Royal Rotor for one, or else a yak that's willing to travel to India. You won't find any yaks near my home. My son is allergic. He is away right now, such a smart boy. Meeting with children from all over the world to discuss world peace. He is at... Don't tell me. He is at Camp Willy Chacha. I hope he is remembering to take his allergy medicine. So, you say he's allergic to yak hair. That's right, and any other long-haired animals. Sad because he likes dogs too. Dogs! But he has a sneezing fit if he goes near them. I see. I want to have a present for him when he comes home. A new go. But I haven't been able to find one special enough. When your son gets home, tell him this. Once belonged to the king. Oh, thank you! Here, please, 
take this in return. One of my favorite Bhutanese condiments. Ooh, what is this? Yak butter? Close. It's, I can't believe it's not yak butter. Who needs all those extra calories? Thanks. Um, excuse me, I think I'm going to take this in private. Pink, is everything okay? Quick, where is Ananda? I just saw him go off with that dog from the Better Camping Bureau. Was he sneezing? Sneezing? Answer the question, man. Was he sneezing? I, I don't understand. I don't have time for your conundrum, Smarty. Did the boy appear to be suffering from any allergies? No, he was fine. I see. Something's terribly wrong at Camp Chiliwawa, smart stuff. Terribly wrong. I have to go. There's a rotor that needs finding. for a missing rotor to complete my journey to India. Can you help me? I can't believe it's not yak butter. Try to get over the shock. The Raven's Call, a special song. Give them food to reveal what's wrong. A certain person's not what they seem. A wolf in sheep's clothing. The Raven's Call, a special song. Give them food to reveal what's wrong. A certain person's not what they seem, a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's, That's what, what I, I said. said. Uh, thanks. I'll work on it. What are you doing? An offering for the sacred ravens. They sing a holy song all day. I put dough on my song as an offering. It's a beautiful song. Thank you, my friend. Why don't you come up? Some dough. I'll give it to a raven. Thanks. Masters have tricks up their hat. Now all they need's a tall pink cat. Touched. You recovered the royal rotor. Remarkable. It was nothing. Well, let's get going. 
You recovered the royal rotor. Remarkable. You are welcome in Bhutan anytime. I'll probably have trouble getting back to visit. When are you going to build a real airport? Open the doors to a little tourism, huh? Pave this rough terrain, and you could even have a great big amusement park or something. find a missing copter part. And then I had to wipe the tears from my eyes. What a touching story. I'm on my way to India now. Don't worry, I'll do what you ask. Just try to have fun. Fun? Hmm. I remember fun. It's just been so long. Sweetest kid, once you get to know her. Well, thanks for everything. Don't change a thing. Log J. Gay, your highness. Log J. Gay, Pink Panther friend. <laughs> Namaste! Welcome to Bombay! Get you. <laughs> Sugar cane straight up with a twist. Delicious. Not for free, my friend. Oh no, your outfit is all wrong. No! 
What is that horrible pink fabric? Double knit. I love it. Do you love it? It's you. To me, this ensemble says, yes, I milk goats in the afternoon, but come evening, I change my blouse and I'm ready to party. Woohoo! Should I wrap it? Oh my goodness gracious, it was made for you. Is it just me or do you love it too? It's very slimming. You look to die for. Take it off, I can't stand it. I'm a huge star, baby! Want to see me charm this neck? Mm. I'll make it worth your while. How's this? If you can charm this neck as well as I do, you can have some of my wife's flowers for free. Okay, you're on. Now you! Now you! Oh, your playing was terrible! But I played in band. Mrs. Nagel said I had potential. My snake didn't find you the least bit charming. Now I have lost her for good. I'm sorry! I said I'm sorry! I'll find that snake and charm her if it's the last thing I do. Find my snake! <laughs> hey, I heard you lost this snake. That's pretty messed up. Spice Man, do you know where Varanasi is? Thanks anyway. A fried treat, my friend. Try some bell puri or masala dosa. Let me try some bell puri. Light on the bell, extra puri if you can. I think I might prefer the puri to this masala dosa. So oh, this is Bell Puri. It's Puri good. Hot, hot, hot! I think I'll write a song about a man who lost his snake. I have a ripe and juicy fruit. you hear, Snake Heart? I can hear you breathing. Namaste. Namaste, kid. Say, have you seen a little snake? About so long, kind of purple, see? Wearing mascara. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. So, she is here. Let me talk to her. Let me see her. Walk away, Pantha. I'm nothing but trouble, see? I'm all wrong. Bad news. Damaged goods. Hanging crooked. Twisty as a snake. You're talking crazy stuff. Just crazy. Why, when I saw you in that crowded market, eyes like daggers, a mouthful of venom. Why, I thought you were the most beautiful reptile I'd ever seen. You've got charisma, kid, and don't you forget it. Now, get your things. We're going home. Sweet talker. Don't tell me I can't charm a snake. Shoot.
my wife. She'll give you some jasmine. I charmed your husband's snake, so to speak. Not so easy to do. He said you might give me some flowers. Jasmine! One piece of information in exchange. Is that fair? No, because I have more than one question to ask you. Then why did you shake your head yes? I didn't. I shook my head no. Listen, 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 listen to this. Listen close, my panther pink. For things round here aren't what you think. What is our yes is your no. You must not let your ignorance show. Take time to learn the things we know. A boat won't sail without a row. A boat won't sail without a row. Uh, it was the only thing that rhymed. I still don't get it. Look, Panther, it's simple. You shake your head side to side, and in India, that means yes. Oh, so you've got it backwards. No, you do. And no, you. No, you. Well, I guess we're both right. Kinda. Say, can you tell me how to get to Varanasi? Oh. Hey, Spice Man, do you know where Varanasi is? Where? To address is my friend. Too far to walk. You've got a long journey ahead. Would you like some spice? Sure, thanks a lot. Feel free to sample what you like. train to Varanasi? Victoria Terminal? I'm on my way there now. Follow me. Goodbye, pink friend. Come on, you missed the train. use my branches to brush their teeth, and so should you. Welcome! Did you know in India pink is the color of welcome? A pink panther, you're the most welcome here, my friend. Well, thank you. So busy, I didn't even have time to take lunch. I am behind in my work. Oh, excuse the howls of my bowels. My empty tummy is vengeful. Oh, 
money. Oh, thank you. If I can ever do anything to repay you, just ask. Oh, thank you. If I can ever do anything to repay you, just ask. Hi, I'm Chamunda. That's another name for Durga, the, the warrior, warrior goddess. My father weaves fabric, and my mother tends to our house and farm. We live over there. See you later. How far is Varanasi from here? A day on the train. How far is the train? An hour on the bus. Uh, how far is the bus stop? 30 minutes on foot. Can you show me how to get there? We have to go help with dinner. The man who weaves fabric will go to Varanasi tonight. He sells his goods there. Rice is nice. Yes, Bender. Oh, thank you. If I can ever do anything to repay you, just ask. Do you belong to this house over here? Are you kidding? I pretty much get free run of the joint. I don't know where you're from, but Calva worships here. I mean, literally. I do what I want, I go where I want, I eat what I want. Sounds like a sweet deal. And why not? I supply the dude. Dude is very important, after all. Well, you don't have to tell me about the importance of dude. <laughs> Panther, I'm parched. Grab me a little something to drink, would ya? Could ya? Come here. Remember how you said, if I ever needed a favor to just ask? Absolutely! You shushed my groaning belly, boss. For that I owe you. What would you like in return? How about a little pot? Oh, pot is no but forgive me, of course! Thank you, my throat was bleeding. Mother, mother! Yes, dear? We need some milk for tonight's supper. Of course, dear. Would you like to milk, mother? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Milk the cow! I'm milking, I'm milking. This is one of mother's most plentiful milkings in weeks. Please, join us for dinner. Why, thank you. I'd be delighted. I am late with dinner. Can you help me? How? I need water, rice, and spice to make my curry nice. That rhymes. Yes, rhyming things helps you remember. I need water, rice, and spice to make my curry nice. Thank 
thank you. Now all I need is water. Yes, Panther. Can I trouble you for one more pot? Yes, one last time. But after this, I must draw the line. I gotta make a living, buddy. Water, rice and spice. It makes my curry nice. It is so hot, so we eat outside. Eat, eat. Uh, shouldn't we... No, we eat first, then my mother and Chamanda, then my wife. But why? Then need the most strength. We must stay healthy. Then the mother and the unmarried daughter must eat. We cannot let an unmarried daughter become unhealthy. If we are to find her a husband, then my daughter-in-law can eat. She already has a husband. So, things are done a bit differently here. In many ways. If Chamunda fell ill, what kind of ad could I place for her in the Hindi stand times? Thin, sickly child with deep cough seeks husband? Oh, how many would reply? Say, are you friends with the little girls who live across the way? Do you ever invite them over to dinner? They would not come to dinner. They are Brahmins. Brahmins? Their father is a priest. Brahmins are high up in the caste system. Caste system? I don't suppose you'd be willing to explain the concept to me in a simple yet lyrical song that I could really groove to. Shock ya, but what I'm about to tell you might rock ya. Ow, well, 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 there's long time been a tradition. We call it the caste system. You're born into your caste, there's not much that you can do, but be the best you can. Or simply try to find a there were four different castes divided by profession. You did the work of your caste. Feast, famine, or recession. Ha ha. Vatsyas and Sudras too. Now there are so many others. I couldn't name them all to you. Last was the outcast, whose treatment was unkind. In the social structure, their caste came left in line. Referred to as untouchables, labeled as unclean. One man known as Gandhi, spoke out and called his treatment made. They could drink from the wells where water was got. Touch food meant for a higher caste. Ow, it may as well rot. Sign. Caste systems, what you're born into. What you're born into. Caste system will report us just to pay. Yeah. Caste system divides well. social position. It caste systems part of India's tradition. Gandhi felt the handling was cruel and unjust. Is a brothel treatment in Mahatma they could trust. Adopting an untouchable girl took the people under his wing. Then the Indian government tried to abolish the whole thing. <laughs> Passing laws that they hoped would prohibit caste discrimination. That was their attempt to try and integrate the nation. You'd be dead wrong if you assumed discrimination was a thing of the past. Think about the place that you call home. Who are your outcasts? <laughs>
so the anti-discrimination laws didn't work. Hey, eat this stuff. Please. There is still very much discrimination here, particularly against women of all castes. In this village, it is considered inappropriate for women to disrobe to bathe. Only the men should take off their clothes and bathe in the pond. We are to remain fully clothed and only pour water over our saris, not to mention the whole dowry. Do you like the women's saris? Yes, they're very colorful. I made the fabric myself. My wife dies nothing. I am taking some to Varanasi to sell. I need to go to Varanasi too. Can I travel with you? Why, yes. I'd like the company. Leave me alone. I hate to tell you, but this river doesn't seem like the best place to get clean. This river is for cleansing and blessing the soil, not the skin. I would hope so, because... Now I would not have done that. This is Shiva's river in Shiva's holy city. Who is Shiva? In Hindu mythology, Shiva is the creator and the destroyer. There are over 2,000 temples and shrines in Varanasi. Many are dedicated to him. I'd like to visit one. Only one will greet non-Hindu visitors. I dip my sari in the holy water for blessings. Holy water, that's cold! We fling the poles into the river so the pigeons can land. Shaba, abala, abala, shaba, hi, hi! I sweep before I step so that I might not kill any insects. I cover my nose and mouth so that I might not accidentally soak in any living creature and cause it harm. In my religion, we believe to kill anything at all is wrong. How about killing time? Is that okay? I have to ask. priest of Durga's temple, the only temple that allows non-Hindus. I'm trying to find the cemetery where a Hindu friend might be buried. There are no Hindu cemeteries in Varanasi. I've seen a lot of incredible things here in India. No doubt you visited the Taj Mahal. No, I didn't have time. Didn't have time? You must at least know the story behind it. Can't say that I do. Ah, what a story. Would you like to hear it?
I was in the original cast of Les Miserables. That was beautiful. I have a job to finish. I really must go. up with a pink panther friend. My cousin only wanted to protect pink. Oh no. I kill me. I really do. Don't cry. It'll grow back. I remember my first short haircut. I didn't like it one bit. shaved because I'm the chief mourner. My grandfather died. It's a Hindu tradition for the chief mourner to shave his head. Ah, so you're not sad about your haircut. You're sad about your grandfather dying? I'm not sad. Today we're celebrating the passing of my grandfather. You didn't like him. We love him. Then why are you celebrating? Today he is reborn. No one can cry. It's bad luck. He asked to be cremated? He does not have to ask. It is his right. We are Hindu, so that is our tradition. It is every Hindu's wish to have their ashes scattered in the Ganges. And so you're not sad. I will miss my grandfather, but I will see him again. As Hindus, we believe that only the body dies, not the soul. My grandfather's soul will be released, and he will be reincarnated. Reincarnated? He will come back as something else, depending on what his karma is. My grandfather was a kind man, so his karma is good. I see. Uh, say, I have to bring these flowers to the grave of a friend. Can you tell me where the Hindu graveyard in Varanasi is? But I told you, there is no graveyard. In Varanasi, this river is Hindu's only graveyard. Why wouldn't Indrani know that? She's from Varanasi. The plot sure is thickening. I guess I'll just try to find some marigolds for Indrani's grandfather and leave them in the river. Namaste! Namaste! priest at Durga's temple, the only temple that allows non-Hindus. Namaste. I thought you said you needed marigolds. Those are violets. I know where I can get marigolds, but it's very, very far. It involves a long outdoor train ride back to Bombay. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Kid, uh, don't go anywhere. I'm going to need you to get back to Victoria Terminal. Okay. Slight communication gap. Marigolds, do you have any? Indeed I do. Please, I just came from Varanasi and I need some flowers to put in the Ganges River. Varanasi, the holy Ganges River. Of course, of course. That was easy. Wait a minute. How do I know you really need those flowers to bring to the holy Ganges River in Varanasi? I want proof. to be the problem. Yo, 
you're a psychic, can you please confirm that the marigolds I need are for the sacred Ganges River in Varanasi? Who do I look like? Vian Warlock? Okay, kid, I'll help you. Just cause you're cute. You know the drill. Show me your paw. I am the Great Polly. The panther's words are true. He just came from the Ganges River and... It's coming in a bit foggy, Panther. Can you stand on one foot? Maybe I'll get a better reception. Oh, you had it a minute ago. There, it's coming in perfectly clear. The panther needs to place the marigolds in the Ganges River to put a young girl at ease. And that's the truth. Thank you. Sure thing. Now invoice you. Marigolds for the Holy Ganges River, of course. I am sorry I ever doubted you. Please say, what's up, to Shiva for me. Will do. Now to head back to Victoria Terminal. I'll say this for you, kid. You got great timing. Father and Drani. Pink, the weather here at camp is very bad. I have something important I must talk to you about. I'm sending transport. Can you hear me? Pink! Something rotten is going on in Camp Chiliwawa. I just know it. Smarty, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sorry, Pretty Pink. I gonna need to lie down. Can't talk, must rest. Where are all the children? Can't talk, must rest. Bun Smarty, Bun Smarty, I've got to stop this rain. Bun Smarty will drown. The rain, Pink, must not get wet. <laughs> There's a stick jammed in the controls. That must be what's causing the rain. There's a stick jammed in the controls. That must be what's causing the rain. A crowbar. Yes, fine rock, pink, fine rock. Perhaps we should rest again. 
rest. The kids are missing. The place is in ruins. We haven't... in the mud look suspicious. They're leading out towards the jets. Von Schmarty, I found some strange prints in the mud over by the lake. I think it's some kind of clue. Don't be too hasty, Pink. You can't chase every dog that barks. Schmarty, you know I have great respect for you, but are you sure we're not overlooking those strange prints by the lake? You want to be the big man? You go ahead! You don't need my help! You never listen to me anyway! I'm through helping you! Leave me alone! I can't help but think those prints are a lead. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelt. The aircraft will be moving shortly. Big day for wildlife travel. First the croc, now the panther. People have always extended their hand to the white man, but have only been betrayed in return. What about the pink man? We never had pink. I promise I'll bring no harm to your people. Bring no evil goodies either. Evil goodies? Cigarettes, alcohol, Joni loves chachi reruns. My people knew nothing of these perils until... I promise I'll bring no harm to your people.
That is called a dendroglyph. The carving on the tree marks the burial place of a loved one. Some aborigines mummify their loved ones and bury them in a place like this. That bark is our canvas. We paint on tree bark and use it for many other useful things. Up there are eucalyptus leaves, the koala's favorite snack. A lot of bugs. Potent. You look like an agile panther. Would you mind fetching some witchetty grubs for me? It's the least I can do to repay you for rescuing me. Can I get some witchetty grubs? In a witchetty bush. You dab at the roots with a pointed stick until you feel them give. If they do, there are witchetty grubs free for the spearing. <laughs> Thanks. I would give my left paw for some eucalyptus leaf. <laughs> My prayers are answered. Yes, grubs galore. I win. That means I towed my wee ones in a pouch. Well, not just any pouch. My pouch. You want to see? Joey, get out here. Yeah, Ma. Is he adorable? Ma, you're embarrassing me. I'm a duck-billed platypus. Is it me or am I unusually funny looking? I'm a thrilled lizard. I'm in a terrible rush. I'm not dangerous. Can't talk. Gotta run. Hey, what are you doing? I'm psyching myself up for For what? For that huge mound of termites. cannot eat kangaroo meat, it gives them nightmares. Really? Why is that? Because that way there's more left for the adults. Change your mind? Did you grab my grubs? Did you grab my grubs? be hunted in these woods. Our ancestors passed them on to us from our dreaming. Dreaming? The dream time. Find one of these for yourself and I will play it for you. Teach you about our dreaming. This instrument is called a didgeridoo. It's made of hollowed wood.
Mm. At peace with nature. As you can tell, was that you that rang my bell? Say, what is a fliggery spoo? I mean, a uh, Kalamazoo. Uh, a, a wizardy foo. An herbal shampoo? You mean a didgeridoo. It's a musical instrument made from an enormous hollow tree branch. Sounds like this. Oh, right. Toodles. Mouth-watering, ain't it? Not exactly. Say, can you carve wood? I leave that to the little guys. Too bad. Hey! Ready, set, lick! Mites don't fail me now. Uh. Fancy chewing, guys. Thanks.
Dreamtime, people could change into their totem animals when they needed to or wanted to. Really? So you mean if one of your people wanted to change into, say, a crocodile, it could be done? In the dream time, certainly. Today, it would take a spirit very connected to their dreaming to accomplish such a thing. You think Kumokin is capable of such a thing? I used to think so. When he was a boy, he only knew our people, our land, our language. Now he wants to live in urban cities, go to special coldy camps and drink Wawa. I don't know. He has not yet been traditionally initiated into manhood. And if he never is, he cannot ever truly carry on his heritage. Well, what do you mean by initiated into manhood? We have our customs. We have our traditions. I didn't mean to pry. I am sorry. You do not understand what has happened to our people. This land was ours before Australia was colonized. Us, Aborigines, as you call us, serve this land. This was our kingdom. and aboriginals lived on this land when white men arrived. Half that many were murdered. Today, we are only 1% of the population in Australia. We? We have always embraced strangers. The first white people to arrive at our land were not settlers. They were prisoners. Prisoners? Our people accepted the white man's outcasts. In return, they attempted to exterminate our race. Like what happened to the Tasmanians. Completely extinct. And so you feel that when your child strays from his homeland... He is helping to complete the genocide. We must keep our history alive. It was not so long ago that white men took our children from us, forced us to live on reserves, took us there in chains, beat us for speaking our language and for practicing our religions, infected us with their foreign diseases, broke our spirit. I'm sorry. For what? You didn't do anything. You don't have any strange diseases, do you? If being long, pink, and single is a disease, then don't even try to cure me. <laughs> uh -oh. The croc! Kamokin, I know his eye. He traveled here from Camp Chiliwawa. Kamokin spirit, there is something wrong at the camp. There is danger where Kamokin has come from. He says you are needed at that place. Tell Kamokin I'm coming. I'll call my jet. 
Don't worry, I'm a secret agent. Your son is in good hands. I know he is, Pink Panther. before. Why don't you go for a swim? Go for a swim! Yikes. So that's what happens if you don't wait an hour to swim after eating. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched, dog father. I'll be needing this for evidence. Hmm, this should come in handy later. Socks and sweaters! It's worse than I expected! I better take one of these for evidence. <laughs> it lights up. I said when the time is right. I can't pretend that everything is okay anymore. I'm cracking up. No one goes anywhere until all my plans are finalized. I'm warning you, I'll tell Big Panther. Then you'll be in deep water, worse off than the real kids, if you know what I mean. Okay, where are the real children, you canine trickster? I don't know what you're talking about. Big Panther. That's right, boss. Boy, you've got real nostrils to pull a stunt like this. I, I had to go along. He, he blackmailed me. He said he would turn the children into dog burgers, I swear. Kidnapping the children and planning to turn Chili Wawa into one of your lucrative dog burger restaurants? How low can you stoop? This low. You're gonna get locked away for this. Oh, yeah? You can't prove nothing, can you? I found a little article written about you in Private Jet Quarterly. 
Not to mention your premature sailing of the dog burger flag. And the evidence I uncovered proving that the kids aren't really kids at all. Remote controlled robots, dog dad? Pretty clever. And then there's this blueprint outlining your plans to turn Camp Chili Wawa into one of your lucrative dog burger restaurants. Plus this decoded hieroglyphic note that tells me the real Chione is having a great time, wherever she is. And not to mention this phony postcard you forged to Nigel's family, riddled with spelling mistakes when Nigel is a champion speller. My plan worked perfectly. I programmed the robots to hate Camp Chili Wawa no matter what happened. Now the Better Camping Bureau has shut the place down and I can open my restaurant as soon as the paperwork goes through. Would you like some fries with your burger? There will be no fries and there will be no burgers. I'll find the real kids and turn you in. I won't hold my breath. I wish you would. Come on, get him! Works perfectly as an overhead light. Oh no, the battery's dead. game of him hide and seek fee fi fo fares methinks i smell a big nose beneath them stairs come out come out wherever you are uh, nobody's hiding in the smokestack man uh, everybody's busy hiding in uh, other places. Come again some other day. <laughs> Marco? Hello. You dirty, dirty dog. Now I just need to find the kids.
distracted by toys and games and fun. fun. We prayed the plan would come undone. Done. Done. We were trapped in a bubble. Scream and shout. The danger brought us closer. We shared our grief. If we could do this, we can do world peace. about what you did over there, Panther. Most impressive. You realize you'll be decorated for all this? I had suspected as much. I had an overwhelming number of requests for your services this morning, what with the news just out. I see. And have you selected my next assignment? Very dangerous. Of course. Assignment entails high combat, espionage, and fish sticks on Wednesdays. Fish sticks on Wednesdays? That's right, Pencer. Undercover lunch lady. I've already ordered your hairnet. It's a cutting-edge school. They've implemented the spark. Close-minded Panther, a job is a... 